Hi, I'm Dan Carton, and I developed the Back Bull. When I was in my early 20s, I was lucky enough to be mentored by Johnny Howie, veteran Mr. America competitor. When I came back from my first show that John had put me in, I remember going into his office with my trophy and all my you know, plethora of photographs to, to show just how fantastic I was. And I remember John, always the critic, looked at them, looked at me, looked at the photographs, looked back at me and said, you did well, but you're only as good as you could have been this time. You've got a wide back, but you don't have the detail and the muscularity and the, the, just the thickness in your back that you need. Until you start doing some real meat and potatoes rowing type movements, you're never really gonna have a muscular back. I knew those movements would do that, but it's not that I shy away from hard work. I had just injured my low back so many times that I was afraid, or as soon as I started getting really heavy on those movements, I always got hurt. So the wheels started turning for what now has become the back bull. You are literally in a Smith machine, inverted, face up, pulling into the diaphragm or upper abs and squeezing those muscles with no low back load. It's one of the most brutal workouts you'll ever do. And then let's take a look at the back bull. Let's talk about back movements and lat movements in general before we actually get into specifics of the back bull. As a trainer, what I usually tell people is two things that are really important is, is posture or body position and hands or how you, how you grasp the bar. You want to get a little bit of tuck in your low back because that's the only way you can achieve a full contraction on your back. As you'll see in a minute, the same thing's true with a back bull. When you grasp a bar, as long as you can hold on to it with your fingertips, and you're much stronger with just your fingertips than you are grasping something, because the extensors and flexors in your forearm aren't gonna give out. And that way, all the work is actually being done with your lats, not by your arms. Same thing's true on the back bull. When you get in here on the back bull, what I wanna see happen isn't you pulling yourself up, I want to see you driving your elbows down, which just drives your body up. Let's get ready for our first set. Usually, I'll have the Smith machine, any Smith machine that will do, as long as it has the, the traditional 1 1 8 inch bar, which is an Olympic bar. I usually set it about maybe more than four feet off the ground. Back bull's in the middle. The logo's always turned out. The bench that you would traditionally do, you know, bench press or whatever on the Smith machine is what we're going to use for the back bull. Now, what I'm going to do, is lie down, feet up on the bench, and I'm gonna slide back a little bit because I know I want to pretty much pull myself up in such a manner that I'm gonna hit my diaphragm or perhaps um, upper abs. There again, we don't wanna use the death grip. We want the fingers to be pretty passive and with lat straps, you can almost guarantee that. I'm gonna lift my body up, and by squeezing my scapulas together, I'm gonna <clears throat> Always keeping that cheerleader position going on. That nice little arch in my back. Torso rigid. Using my feet and legs as little as possible until I get exhausted. A few more reps. Almost there. Come on. Uh, almost there. Come on. Uh, okay. Good first set. My workout partner, I'm notorious for coming in. I'll have a little Ziploc bag. I'm buying time right now, by the way, because I know I got to do this again. I have these little Ziploc bags and every jack up powder on the planet. I've got this little blend of one scoop of this, one scoop of that, one scoop. He said, you know, when the EMTs come one day, and they will, and they say, how much caffeine is this man on? <laughs> he said, I want to be able to tell him because you write top secret on all your bags. Anyway, one day I, I took the back bull, which we had experimented with earlier, and I put it in a box and I wrote top secret and put it on, at the front of the gym. And the partner, workout partner comes in and he sees this box that says top secret. He says, let me guess, in that box is some horrible thing you're gonna make us do in our workout today. The back bull was in there. He said, whatever it is, I know it's just wrong. I know it's gonna be terrible. He said, and I know you can't wait to get it out of that box. He was right, that's what the back bull is all about. Let's grab another set. This is a little more advanced. This is how I actually do my personal workouts with the back bull. I've taken away that flat bench that was here. I'm a little bit of a thrill seeker. I drug over a preacher bench, which I'm just gonna drape my legs across. 
go down for a really great stretch and then slam it in. Remember, passive hands, that's what the lat straps are for. I'm gonna tie myself in there, go right into the diaphragm, upper abs, really get that cheerleader position going on, get a hard contraction, no escape. I love that feeling with lat straps, just dig into the back of your hand. If you don't use lat straps, if you're not familiar with them, this probably isn't your gig. You probably need to be decorating cakes or taking flower arrangement classes. More! One rep! That's what the back bull is all about. This is the beauty of how versatile a Smith machine is. Let's go up one notch for a completely different feel. You know, that's the beauty of the back bull. Centered around a Smith machine, so many different heights, and I'll rarely do two sets and a workout at the same height. I just like that feel of changing it a little bit. As you become strong on the back bull, you're like, well, where do I go from there? And you can add chains. My partner and I have done that and added weights to it. But one, one neat concept you have to keep in mind with the back bull, is, and it's the simplicity of this beautiful. The bigger and stronger you are, the more you weigh. I can get a little guy in here that weighs 150 pounds. He's pulling his body weight up. I can also put a 260 pound national level bodybuilder up here. He's got to pull pretty much his entire body weight up for repetition. So the beauty is there again, the stronger you are, the bigger you are, and the more weight you're pulling every time. So uh, let's try this different angle. Rock and roll. Probably some wide grip pull downs will come next. And I think my back would be toast. Thank you for taking time to listen to me, watch the back bull in action. I hope it becomes a relevant part of your workout. This whole industry and, and the health fitness industry has just been giving, giving, giving to me, and I, I think now it's time for me to give something back. Best of health to you and to your family. I hope you're blessed as I have been. Now let's work out.